Chat, what's up, man? YouTube, what's up? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 65. 65 weeks, man. I've been dealing with y'all, and y'all been dealing with me, talking about D. John Madden football. I appreciate y'all being in the chat. I appreciate y'all watching this on YouTube. Please hit the like button, man. Last week, we got a great opportunity to talk to Problem and about, you know, me playing DC, my games I played, also about the sub-only chat. My chat, as you see it right here, man, it's definitely, it is in sub-only mode for the chat because, man, if you guys want to be a part of this, if you want to be a part of the podcast, you guys want to be a part of, you know, this content that I do, sub-only, you can watch these lives, twitch.tv slash dub dot, Tuesday nights. What's up, boys? How y'all making out? How's it going, man? Are you guys ready for this DC tournament this week? Um, It's weird when you get to this point, man. I was thinking about this. As I was loading up, I was actually watching the Sixers uh, a little bit before this, getting ready for the show, and just put my thoughts together. I was looking over the groups, and, and uh, one thing that's crazy is that, right, there's 16 people left in the D.C. tournament, right? There's 16 people left. So other than those 16 people, everybody else doesn't really give a shit about that mode anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I shot the alpha with this up. Like, after, after you lost in that mode, it's time to focus on the other one. So... Of the uh, let's say there's 500 competitive players, 490 of us are, are worried about the next mode, man. That's where our focus is, and, and it's crazy to think that you know that there's a major going on, but there's only 16 people really playing that mode anymore, which is kind of nuts. But then that goes to the fact that LCQ is live, and and one thing I did put out a tweet uh, a couple days earlier, and it was like, why do you not want to compete in LCQ? And this is to everybody because, man. Uh, I got tons of following on every social media. There's tons of people that watch Madden. There's tons of people that, you know, love Mutt. And I asked my, like, for me as a human, and, I, and obviously you guys chat, man, you guys watch the competitive people, the most competitive people in the world. And to me, it's like, why do you not want to compete? Why do you not have the same fire that I have? And, and it's curious to me, or I'm curious about that fact to other people. So often I so I asked why do you not want to compete in, in last chance in LCQ? Why do you not want to play against the best players, man? And uh, one thing that as we step back as man players, man, the whole the whole uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Ryan. As you say that, um, the whole process of making a salary cap team is a little a lot of confusing, really. And, and I feel like, man, if you don't stay up to date with Madden and salary caps and, and uh, you know, Mutt in general, if you don't stay up to date with that, you're, you have no shot of just popping out of nowhere and making a team. But for me, uh, I'm okay with that because I invest my life into Madden. I feel like somebody that wants to part-time do it, it should be hard for them to do that. I mean, it should be difficult. You know, the amount of time and energy that we as Madden players put into the game shouldn't be able to be replicated by some casual that just wants to try to compete out of nowhere. You know, so for me, it's like it does cost a lot of money um, for salary cap. It does. It's crazy to think that, like, when you limit the team, it costs more than when you let anybody out there, you know. Yeah, team building is what makes it, I don't, it's not addictive, but it's crazy that, uh, yesterday, LC, I probably played 10 games of salary cap, if you guys watched. But at the same time, you know, four hours before that, I just sat here with my boys talking about how can I make my team better? You know, how can I improve the team? Where is my weakness on the team? Where is, you know, where can I downgrade? Where can I upgrade? And that type of thing and comparing my team to others. And it's just fun. It's just, it's like a puzzle. And you want to try to find that perfect puzzle piece and you're never quite done the puzzle. But it is really tough to, um to be a part of this the salary cap thing if you're not fully invested, man. Just to be honest, I bought 5 million coins yesterday, and I think I only got a million left. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, for, for sure. It's definitely fun. Um, so, uh, for me, it's like, I don't know if salary cap... And this goes back to the, to the, the discussion we have all the time, man. Is salary cap... It really the mode that's going to take this to the next level, man, because it's so goddamn confusing. And I ask you this, does it matter? Does and I had this talk with my man Kent all the time, man. Like, does the amount of people playing Madden, like trying to compete, make it a bigger 
spectacle? Does it make it better to watch when more people are playing? Or ultimately, is it cool if it's the same hundred people playing? You know? Also, do you think... That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, is there a positive for everybody being able to compete? You know, as far... I, I feel like at the same time, it can be successful when it's only the same hundred people playing. I think it can still be successful, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel like there's positives and negatives to everybody being able to compete, and there's positives and negatives to, to just only the elite people being able to compete. You know, I, I, I as someone that really, I don't think Madden is dead at all. I don't think, I think Madden is the furthest from dead it's ever been. In my, in my four years of, like, playing Madden, like, as a professional, like, I feel like this is the most popping Madden has been. Period. I, and I don't even think it's close, honestly. I think Madden's really popping. Madden, but that Kent, but that's and he says there's two. You guys are reading it, but to me, it's like Madden. Madden is 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 too complex in general. Just the game itself, really, it really is. You know, uh, shout out to my man Path with the gifts and with the gifted subs. I I do feel like. Yeah, but LCQ, maybe that's why LCQ is good because it is like an elite of the elite leaderboard, honestly. And Velvet, and this is one of the guys, and there's so many people that play, man, and I'll tell you, one of the biggest lessons I can give you guys is, man, just go out there and try, because I, I was always tough. I'm talking from when I was 16 to now. I was always the same. I, I mean, now I know more because I have more friends that help me, you know, but I was always tough at the game, but I was always like you guys, a little hesitant to go compete, a little hesitant to kind of spend my money or my time to compete. So that kind of held me back for 10 years of playing Madden. You know, so the one one bit of advice I'll give you guys is, man, don't let any of that hold you back. Don't let negative things like I can't compete or I don't know if I could try. Like, don't let that hold you back from, from really becoming a better player, really. You know. I do think ultimately the game, uh, the game is, the game, Madden's too complicated in general. Like, honestly, it, in the grand scheme of compared to other games, it's really complicated, honestly. Kent, Kent has really turned into a, a Reddit nerd. More people know the noob shit because of the internet. The people that blame the internet on why Madden's bad is is I will those people are just the just the scum buckets of the internet. Oh, you're only good because of ebooks and YouTube. That's you know that the internet ruined Madden. Like people like that are unreal, man. Insane, man. Yeah, I just, I mean, I just do LCQ. I mean, if you guys don't know, it's a, and one thing I get when I make these posts about LCQ is 20% of people don't even know what the hell it is. You know, and really, I guess that's not our job, Chat. Is that my job to, you know, is that my job to convey that message to everybody else? Is that my job to, um, to help people learn what it is, you know, is that part of my job? No, seriously, is that part of my? Would you guys look for me to be somebody that does that? You know what I'm saying, um, yes, and, and and sober talks about Call of Duty. Everybody's playing open brackets. That's what the Madden Classic was. The Madden Classic was you pay, you show up, you play. That's it. There was there is no leaderboard. There's nothing. You show up, you play. And I've six, and you're right. I do think it should be some type of advertisement in the game. There should be, listen, this is how I feel about the MCS. When they drop a new promo chat, when they drop a new promo, do they not have the step-by-step -step guides? Here's your 80 overall, you can quick sell. This will get you started. And here's the card you can quick sell, which tells you exactly where to go. Can they not put a prompt in the game to say, if you want to compete, boom, press A, this is the leaderboard you go to, boom. I think that would be just as easy as it is for them to teach us how to use the new promo, you know. But I, I, I mean, I do want to tell people that last chance is the last. It's exactly what it is. It is last chance qualifier. So what it is is that pretty much by the end of this tournament that we're going to talk about in a couple minutes here, by the end of this tournament, the entire field of Madden Bowl will be filled out other than two spots. So both PlayStation and Xbox will have one tournament to decide who those last two people are. It's really fun because it's literally the last chance for some of these pros, some of these people that 
uh, have, are not in Madden Bowl, have not made the biggest. Uh, one thing about Madden Bowl, after the club series gives away, as I go on a tangent, but after the club series gives away 700 grand, it's kind of a little tough to get up for the other tournaments. Like, even this tournament this weekend, the winner gets 30 grand, which is great. I would love it. I'm grateful for it. But after they give away 700 grand, it's like it kind of downgrades the other tournaments a little bit. You know what I'm saying, Chad? I feel like it'd almost be better if all four tournaments were just equal payouts, you know? Shout out to my man Trey with the 14 months, man. Yeah. Yeah, and my man said he's new to Madden, man. And, that's, and being new to Madden, I mean... When I first started playing Madden, it's not like you just start playing Madden in the first month. You know where all the time competition is. You know where all the tournaments are. But uh, your last chance will be fun. And if you guys are watching any of the big streamers, uh, Problem, you watch Zan, myself, Clef, um, Jay Wall's been streaming. BG Fam is on right now. These guys, K Mac will probably play last chance uh, if he doesn't make a good run in this. Uh, I think he'll play it regardless. But he's in the tournament we're gonna talk about later. But uh, you watch these guys, they're going to be playing last chance. And it's going to be the best versus the best. It's not going to be weekend league. It's not going to be mud head to head. It's going to be fun, man. For real. Um, the the coach packs, listen, the compet uh, yo, crowdfunding, I'm not, I believe that's what they call it, crowdfunding. Um, for me, um, Crowdfunding is essentially uh, the prize pool would be what we put into packs. Would be cool. Shout my man Path with the sub himself. I appreciate you. But um, crowdfunding is like, okay, we're going to take 10% of what we get on packs and we're going to put it to the tournaments, which would be awesome. We've been asking that since the beginning. But, you know, it's something that you kind of give up on. Yes. Buster says, my books coach does nothing to help me. That's a really good point. You know, that's a good point. And to me... You know what I wish they had with these coaches was here. Not only do you buy a coach, but you get a random 95 overall NAT card. Boom. So now you're not only do you introduce some people that give a shit about books, all eight of us, you know what I'm saying, that have the books coach. Now there's 80,000 people that play Mutt that are going to pay five bucks to learn who these four coaches are and also get a 95 overall. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy Raincoat is going to buy the pack just to get his 95 overall. And he's going to say, who's this big-headed, skinny black guy named Bugs? Hey, I might put him as my coach. Or here's an even better idea, chat. Make the Bugs coach give the team plus one stamina. Why not? Now you have John Mann, but the visual coach will be Bugs, and he'll give the team plus five stamina. That'd be a great idea. Give Jimmy Raincoat a reason to buy these coaches. We're going to buy the coaches because we support. But if you want to grow, if you want to make these guys become stars, make people kind of have to buy the coaches. You know what I mean? Don't make it an option. Kind of make it a necessity. Turn these guys into superstars that they deserve to be, man. And they, and that's one thing that I, I they could do. And, they, and let's... As I say all this, let's remember this. They have done a good job. Everything is everything is going forward. As much as it's easy to say, as much as it's easy to say, um, as much as it's easy to say they need to do this, they need to do that. And I feel like that's all we're doing. Need to do this, need to do that, need to do this, need to do that. I feel like that's all we do. We do have to see, man, these guys are coaches in the game, and that's pretty cool. You know, they've given out what? Five, six million dollars in the last couple months, man. It's, or in the last couple years. It's pretty cool. Right, chat? It's pretty cool. We got to realize that they've been doing good. Things are going up 1,000%. So, and it seems like we always whine and complain and this want, want this, want that. Um, We do have to remember that they've been doing a pretty good job, man. You got to you gotta tip your cap sometimes. But the coach situation, the coach cards could be done a lot better. Um, maybe even, man, I buy this coach card. Now I get a random alternate jersey, a random alternate throwback jersey that I can wear. I can put on an auction block. Let's really get this shit popping. You know, let's have a lot of people with Boogs coaches and Beast Mode Mac coaches and Little Man coaches and Skimbo coaches and the freaking, who's probably the least bought coach, chat? Let's think about 
All right, who are the coaches this? Let, let, oh, we got to say rank the least bought coach. Who is the least bought coach? Give the coaches abilities. What abilities would the coaches have if they had abilities? Hot Rod Master. Kratobin is the least bought coach. Okay, okay. Who is the least bought coach? Primetime 50 G's is one of the coaches? All right, out of this group, who is who who is the least bought coach in this group, chat? I mean, it's kind of got to be Crusher or Kratobin. Who, who get the least? I mean, Bugs and, and Mo probably the top coaches. Crush is least bought, is the least bought coach. Who got the corniest picture too, man? It might be Bugs. Bugs might have the corniest picture. Crush, you know, Crush might have the corniest. That like Crush picture might be corny too. They really pick Bugs in this thing too. Crush. There he is. Crush. That's that's the neighbor from Toy Story. Crush is the least bought. Bugs has the worst pick. I mean, Beast Mode look a little creepy. But who? I wish. I, damn, I wish I had an all time list of everybody that went on the game. Everybody that went on the game, I wish they had the all time list. I really wish I had it so we could think about. Donnie, bro, you don't answer none of my questions. Donnie, bro, Donnie don't help the podcast, bro. He, he yo, I be asking, if y'all went, I'm going to go look at me and Don, Donnie's DM, bro. He don't answer none of my questions, I be asking. Like, I be coming up with, yo, I had a good ass, and we're going to have this topic next week. I'm not even going to tell you guys the topic. I just have a good ass topic that I want to bring up next week. And I, Donnie, I, I, ideally, I'm going to be in California when the games start. And uh, I'm going to talk about it. We're going to talk about this in person because I have a good idea. I have a good topic. You know, we can talk about it, man. But, yeah, the coaches could be add. They could add something other than just, wow, let me buy this coach. Because I'll be real, man. Like, say, all right, I play. I've been playing Apex casually, right? If they gave me some skin to look like some pro Apex dude that I don't know, I don't give a shit about that. Why would I buy that? Really? Say, like, why? If they give me the freaking, you know, I don't even know an Apex Creep name. What's the Apex Creep name? I don't know. But if they had some dumbass game where they gave me some pro player skin, I, I wouldn't buy it. I don't even care. I'm saying? That's just how I feel, man. Uh... So I feel they need to add a little bit to the coach program, but it's definitely it's definitely two thumbs up for the coach program. Cannot complain about it. I don't even know how we got to the coach program, and Crush being the lowest ball coach. Now I wish now as you see, Strafen Strafen was the second most most ball coach. Now one day I'll tell you this, man. I hope I can see the stats for all the coaches bought. It would be funny as hell. That would be a great podcast topic. Uh, listen, I'm telling you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, man, just baby steps. You know, that's all we get in there. It's definitely, a, I'm saying thumbs up. The coach program is cool. LCQ, I'm excited to keep playing. So, like I said, if you guys want to watch Madden, make sure you guys check out this stream. Like I said, Problem, K-Mac, uh, BG, Henry might stream some, Clef. Uh, who else streams? Chat, help me out. Help me out. Help me out. Promote all the streamers that stream competitive Madden. BG. Clef, Henry, Cap is Cap is gonna quit in a day. Pony, check out Pony play. Cap is gonna quit in a day. Maybe Big Cap. You know what I'm saying he gonna wind up raging. He gonna rage. Cap has no neck. He's just gonna be down here raging. Cap, if you ever watch Cap, he can't. His neck don't turn. Like I swear I said this before, but his neck doesn't turn. Like he turn his whole body to talk. It's crazy. Like if he get yelled at. When his wife come in, he got to, like, turn his whole body. I swear to God. Say himself. 
Um, what I was saying, James Self, D. Croft, all the TNCs, probably Civil. I've been watching Civil play. So if you guys don't know, the, listen, this is what you got to do. YouTube, you got Twitch again. Go to the man directory, click the button, search it, and search. If anybody has LCQ in their title, watch them. I'll put it that way. All right, chat. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, Kep want to fight Eric Kep. You got a lot of hostility, bro. So that's what happens when you don't have a neck, man. When you don't have a neck, your heart is that much closer to your brain. So it pumps the blood faster. It makes you that much angrier. You know what I'm saying? Because us normal people, like we have a neck right here. So this takes up like a foot of, of like blood vessels. So the blood slows down a little bit. But when you don't have a neck, like the heart pumps so fast that you're just out of control, man. Honestly. saying so that's just how it goes oh my god here we go kept you want kept on beat up everybody kept want to beat up everybody with Sibu in his backyard and he never fought Sibu you know what I'm saying that's what I'm saying that's nuts Sibu walking around North Carolina Sibu running North Carolina also man if you guys you could check out Sibu he's gonna play LCQ probably check him out youtube.com slash Sibu 92 Yeah. I'm saying check that. I don't know where my man Wu at, man. Shout my man Verdi. Shout my man Proof in the chat. But anyway, man, LCQ is gonna be a blast. Chat, does anybody know when it ends? Like that'd be nice. Uh I don't know if Throne's gonna play. I mean I I would, but Throne killing it on just mutt. Like, bro, he don't need like And part of my ask you guys this, man. Part of um Madden, part of me as like a streamer and stuff, like I see Gut Fox and Throne and Xerxes and even CC and Skomo just killing it at, in Mutt, bro. They just killing, just investing into Mutt. And me being a competitive guy and just I just have was born from the competitive side of Madden. I feel like that's my niche, but I also feel like man, the other side is more successful. You know, as I'm looking at it, the other side is more successful. And my and my point to you guys is like, do you guys? I mean, obviously, I feel like the people watching this show want to watch the competitive stuff, but I do feel like sometimes competitive holds back um, the content. You know what I'm saying, Chet? And that's kind of how I feel about that. But And it's a debate to me. Like, I, I think personally for me to have fun, I have to play the best and try to be the best. Like, for my personal satisfaction from Madden. Like, I could be, honestly... Honestly, for me, I could if I say I went and did content, bro, and I I just blew up YouTube with a hundred thousand subscribers, every video fifty thousand views, like I could do that, make so much money, right, and have so much success. If I wasn't competing, I would it would be it would eat me alive. It would really eat me alive. Like I've been kind of I've been asked this year, but I've still been out there. You know what I'm saying so for me it's like if I like didn't try or didn't try to compete it would eat me alive as a person honestly yeah so for me it's like I could never not compete especially like when you already have like compete if you went like if I went straight from con to content and didn't really compete and didn't really know what that was like it would be a little easier but for me I just have to play I have to play people honestly um, but that's LCQ. We're going to have, what, we just said March 24th is when it ends. So that's two months. We have two months to talk about LCQ. So let's, all right. Now, let me ask you this. I'm going to talk about LCQ chat. Two months, give me a number of games I should play on stream. Below right here, wherever, the little, wherever it is, what is the number of games I should be playing? Let me, give me a number. Give me a number. 500 is the first one I see. 200 cap. That's a, uh, that's a little low. 1,250. This is in two months. So let's talk. Let's say it's like 50 days. 200 on here, you think? Over 9,000. See, that's why... I only make subs that are allowed to talk in the chat, honestly. The one sub, the one non-sub uses fucking redeem sub only to say over 9,000. 
Literally, that is why the podcast is in sub-only mode. One million percent. That's why it is. Seriously. No, I could definitely play ten ladder games a day, really. Yeah. I was shooting for 300. What about 300? Yeah. Let's share. Then, then share everybody. Like, bro, y'all. 300? 500 to the 750 is reasonable. But also, I'll tell you guys this, man. One of the reasons I feel like I've kind of been ass is because I haven't played offline at all. It's just all stream. All stream. I haven't played my friends at all. I haven't practiced or anything. So I definitely want to take some more time to do that. But, um... Okay, but it's a 45. The fact and chat, I remember when it was 32 people. What I think it's like 48 people now, and then weekend league people make the tournament, which is a lot, but you know. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna play games, man. I can play 10 games a man a day easily, honestly. I feel like these games go fast. I feel like people will quit. I feel like I'll quit. Shit. <laughs> like I feel like you can get through it. You know. But we'll see. So, can we agree on 300? 300 games. No, Jimmy, you good. I'm, I'm busting your balls. I feel like 300 is a good number that we can get to. That I can, on this podcast, I come and tell you guys, 300, man. Yes, Cap, I watched a little bit of it, but 300 games. I'm putting 300 out there. It's 300 doable. I'm putting 300 out there. 300's the number. W's playing, man. 300 games. Now, I did tell you guys I was going to play 1,500 games a month. That's probably not fucking happening. You know what? I underestimated the amount of other shit you got to play as a man player. Like, bro, you got to play a lot of other modes. Shit. I feel like I'm going to play 5,000 games of Madden. I'm not putting a tweet out. They're going to kill me, man. All I'm going to say is, man, what about that 1,500 games? Blah, blah, blah. Ain't none of y'all getting paid. Y'all getting burnt. Yeah, Weekend League. If Weekend League counted, I'd get 1,500. Promise you guys. I realize, Cat. one thing I realize is this, is that um, I used to feel bad about burning y'all on giveaways and shit like that. I really did. I used to feel bad about that. But then I realized Drenny does it all the time, and he's Disney, and nobody calls him out for the shit. Drenny hasn't given y'all shit. Shit. Like, literally, Drenny hasn't given y'all shit for three years. For three years. I haven't given y'all shit. And they don't call him out for it. So, fuck him. Right? You feel me? Like, if, if they're not going to call out Jenny, I mean, listen. It's just then, it, then it, nobody and then nobody can get called out. I'm saying? If Disney can do it, anybody can do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, motivational tweets. Jenny's full of shit. The worst pair go to the worst part, bro. I'll tell you, when we go to these man events for three years, bro... Like, they'll have, like, a stack. They'll have, like, a stack of codes like this. They give Drenny half the stack. Swear to God. They walk around. Everybody gets one code, right? Drenny's always at the end of the line of people getting codes. They, they, they do. Why I tell you about Big Strap? Remember, I put the strap down on the table, like, they give Drenny this many codes. How many do y'all get as the community? I don't know what the hell he does. He goes home and puts the code in and quick sells that Lamar Jackson and gets all his training for his team. Then he'll go on Twitter and ask for a player. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yes, we are all going to Anaheim. Catmaster Squad will be in Anaheim. Um, the one thing uh I'm I'm looking at, I'm looking at some spots to stay for gang. It's gonna be pretty tough, I know that, man. But 300 games, that's what we're locking in as a podcast. For y'all that watch the podcast, you know, 300 games is the game. You know what I'm saying? And we are going to... Let's talk about this draft champions right now, man, because that's where I'm feeling right now. 
Trini exposed 30 for 30. What if I told you Disney didn't give away what he said he was? Yes, they put Clarence. I share, I'm never getting in the game. I've, I, that ship has sailed, bro. I've retired from that, that battle. Rest in peace. Um, dun -dun -dun -dun. Okay. What did I want to do? What did I want to do? Okay, here we go. Chat, I need you guys' help. I need you guys to help me. This is our predictions. We are going to predict as a team. We want to predict as a group of what's going on here. What is going to happen? How is it going to happen? So I need help. All right, all right, boys. All right. So these are the groups. All I can really do as far as predictions is like the groups because once it gets out of the group, I really don't know what the bracket's going to be. I really don't know any of that. So for me, we can start over here in group A. All we're going to tell you guys is who makes it out of the group and who is the number one seed. All right, that's what we're going to do. And for doing this, we are going to have, for the person that gets knocked out, we're going to have the red ink. For the person that's number one seed, is going to get a green circle. Okay, chat, you guys with me? Are you guys with me? Are we still with me now? All right. Now, we're going to talk about group A. Three people make it out, one person goes home. Group A, a lot of these groups, I'll tell you, you got to go with, like, the vibe of the group. It's not really always about Madden, as we are playing the DC mode, so a lot of things are random. A lot of things are people got to make some things shake out of playbooks and, and really do their best. I know these guys are all prepared. All great players on this list. And I'll, I will take you right now to the guys, how I think this goes, you know. Um... Uh, little man is not getting knocked out in groups. It's just not happening. I, little man and little man is the self-proclaimed king of the fighters. No way he makes it out. There he gets knocked out of groups. Uh, joke joke has been uh, shoot. I think joke on any list has been a top five player this year. Bugs and, and it goes back to one more time. Bugs is one of the best DC players ever. To be honest, he's always had a good showing. I want to say Bugs has made every DC live event ever. I want to say. So for me, yeah, I, I'm going crush with the line through his name. I'm getting crush out of here. He's not making out the group. King of the Fighters, little man goes on. Number one seed for me. Got to be the booger, man. Got to be the green bean. You know I'm going bugs. Jokes want to make it out. Little man's want to make it out. Boom. Get to the next group, group B. Do you guys disagree, agree? Do I got Crush going home, Bugs number one seed, man. Okay, 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 okay. Not Madden 18 challenge. Oh, you're right. You're right, Donnie. You know why that was only... You know why he didn't make Madden 18 challenge, Donnie? Because he played me in groups and got popped. And also, there was only eight people that made that live event. You know. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to group B. This is a sneaky good group. Now, I lost the Rage in the tournament. For that reason, I am going to cross his name out. No, but in all serious, uh, Clef, I, I think I think Clef is really good, um, like exceptionally good. Um, Henry has been good all year. VA Dimes, probably the sneakiest, one of the sneakiest names on here. Now, as, a, as an Xbox player, I have played VA Dimes a lot in the last couple years, so I, I'm familiar with the name. And he was never live event good i mean he popped up he played really good knocked out drinny so uh he he's the underdog in this one i did play rage i thought he sucked i just sucked a little bit worse uh and he was able to pop up and make it to the live event uh but i think henry and clef are uh elite um dimes is really hot right now so yeah we gotta get rid of my man rage man is va dimes 35 years old see i feel like he's that type i feel like i'm that type of age because, you know what I'm saying, I feel like I've been play, playing him a long time on leaderboards. Number one seed, you already know. Clef the God. Do you? Do we disagree 
or do we agree, chat? What do we like in this situation? Like I said, I like Clef the number one seed. This one pretty much come down to Clef versus Henry, man. I feel like Clef is going to pop. As we go on over here to the other group. Now, this is the group, man. This group is unknown. This group is... This group is disgusting, chat. Group C is disgusting. Like, group C is... Like... I've never seen Noah play. Now, I'll tell you, when I posted the odds from last podcast, everybody told me Noah was tough, man. And 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 it was the people that I respect that said Noah is tough. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, for me, um, I don't know. So, Noah might be tough. Now, Chad, if you guys know Noah, let me know. Because I have not... Obviously, one of the biggest flaws about pretty much primarily playing Xbox, I don't really know these PlayStation dudes. I don't know JD. I don't know Noah at all. And, uh, and if you guys play PlayStation, you probably don't know Taylor Gang at all, honestly, for me. Uh, but Deliverance, man, I can't ignore Deliverance. I can't, I mean, he, he's, as we talk about Little Man being the king of the fighters, Deliverance might be the prince of the fighters, bro. He's always in a slobber knocker. So for me, I, I honestly, the amount, the amount of respect that Noah got after the odds were posted... I seen a lot of people I thought were good at Madden told me Noah was good. So I'm gonna he not gonna get crossed out. Deliverance, King Prince of the Fighters, not gonna cross out. Taylor Gang, you know what I'm saying? He he not gonna get crossed out. So I gotta cross out my man J D. Just but this is a process of elimination. Okay, so now we move on. Who's gonna be the number one seed? Is it gonna be Noah, Taylor Gang, or Deliverance? I could just circle my man Taylor Gang and him be the number one seed. Is that what I want to do? But my man PK beats... You're right, PK does. I'm tripping. His name is PK. My man PK beat Taylor Gang already. Does Taylor Gang get that... Does he get that revenge against Deliverance? Or does Deliverance beat him again? Are we going PK? I think I'm going PK, bro. But do we go with Noah? Because, I mean, you guys... I mean... Everybody jumped. At, everybody jumped at me when I said Noah was was the same odds as Deliverance or whatever. I'm going with the PK. Matter of fact, come on, bro. This is Photoshop. This is Photoshop. W. Anything is possible. You can do whatever you put your mind to. This is why they watch chat. That's why they watch, man. Seriously. Boom, 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 boom. And you know we got to do this, right, chat? This is why they watch. Make sure his name is properly put out there. You know what I'm saying? You can't be disrespecting my man. Close enough, right, Chet? Close enough. Boom. <laughs> Got PK. There it is. Group D. Group D. Noah could be this year's Kratobin. Ooh, Donnie, does that mean... Pop up out of nowhere, okay. Nah, I mean, yo, P might be hell as PK. Now we go group D. I already know who I'm knocking out first. I already know who I'm knocking out first. Oh, we're not even, my opacity is not high. Uh oh, that's a sign. Oh, damn, we messed up. What's the, I mean, let me tell you why, man. Let me tell you why, chat. Now, I was in a Twitch chat last night. Or it might have been. I don't know where it was. It might have been my Twitch chat, right? It might have been my Twitch chat. 
And somebody asked Wesley, he was in the pocket, he was in the chat, and they asked, and let me, all right, this is coming home right here, right? They asked Wesley, chat, I'm not mad. So they asked Wesley in the chat, huh, you ready for DC? And you know what his response was? I don't know, I don't have any control over it. It's all about my playbook, and if I get a good playbook, you know, I'll be able to do good. And his first, his first response was, "I don't have any control over it. I don't have any control." When you go in with that mindset that you have no control over it, and it's all up to the game, all you're doing is giving yourself a reason to make an excuse. You are backing up your excuse before it even happens. He's cooked, cause one, as we go back to the graphic. For one, as we go back to the graphic chat, he's not being kids. Whoa. He's not being kids. Let me tell you something. When Wesley plays Kiv, this is this is what's going to happen, right? Kiv is Wesley's coach. Like, Wesley does everything Kiv tells him to do. And that's pretty much how Wesley became good at Madden. Like, he was, like, he, he played and was decent. But once Kiv took him on his wing, it made Wesley good, right? So Wesley has done everything Kiv has said for two years, right? And so we tease Wesley about this. We tease him about it, like, oh, you need Kiv, blah, blah, blah. Chat, you guys agree. That's what we do. We tease Wesley. So what's going to happen is Wesley, they're going to sit next to each other. They're going to sit up and load a game of mat. They're going to load in and be sitting right next to each other, right? It's like if the Ninja Turtles had to fight Splinter, right? So, he's looking over there at Splinter, and he's like, damn, this is my master. This is the guy that Twitch chats, today. the Twitch chat tells me this guy teaches me how to play. This is my chance to show everybody that he's not my master. He's not Sensei. I'm better than him now. He's going to have so much pressure on him, but in the back of his mind, he's going to know that is Master Splinter over there. That is Sensei over there. So, he's going to lay down. He's going to be so afraid of the game. Meanwhile, Kiv... <laughs> Kiv knows that he tells Wesley everything what to do, so Kiv is going to be one step ahead of Wesley. This might be a blowout, honestly. It might be a blowout. So, then we look at the other two people. After Now, I will tell you this. Depending on when... A lot of things with groups, I feel like a lot of the order of the game matters. You know, if I'm Wesley and Kiv, obviously they're friends. They're not going to want to play to the end. Hopefully they maybe fix it, but they got rid of all that. But I would assume they would play first. I, if you're that close, I feel like you have to play first in groups. They did fix. I don't think. I think it's impossible for like to fix the last game. I think it's impossible now with the way the layout, the format is. But um, if they play first, if I'm Wesley, I would want to play Kiv last. I would want to play Ghost or K Mac because I feel like he'd have more confidence against Ghost and K Mac than uh, Wesley. But um, then uh, Ghost I think is really good. Um, and then Kiv is Kiv, uh, but I, and K-Mac, K-Mac looks really strong too. The thing about K, K-Mac got that split close, that split close got K-Mac, um, to where he is. So for me, um, what I'm going to say, it's going to be tough for him to get that split close again. I wonder what he's going to make shake if he has another playbook. But for me, it's easy to go, it's easy to go to Kiver. Me, I'm going to Ghost Man with the number one seed. That's where I'm going. Yes, Ghost versus Kid will be the matchup. That's probably, this is probably going to decide it, the Kid versus Ghost. Much like Clef versus Henry's going to decide that one. And I just feel like PK versus Taylor Gang, that's, that's going to decide that one. Even Joker versus Bugs. I feel like we got a clear, you know, two people in every, every whatchamacallit. The challenge is it starts Thursday, Gator. So that's why I like. Like I said, uh, this Group C is Slobber Knocker City. Um, I would pick Taylor Gang. Uh, I think he's better than these. I, I think he's better than Deliverance, but he lost to him. And Deliverance, I mean, listen, he just keep winning games, so you can't knock it. So, um, and I don't want to pick all my guys. Damn, I got, I got to leave somebody out. It's got to be Taylor Gang, right? By the way, that's what I think. I hope you guys uh pick. I hope you guys want to watch it. 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that would be noon. Donnie, do this start with Group A? Is Group A start? So I gotta get. 
Damn, I gotta catch an early ass flight on Thursday. Golly. Oh well. Definitely try to be out there, man. It's just too many people that I like. Too many of my friends are playing, man. Not only Bugs, Clef, and, and, and Trey, but I mean Kid and Ghost. Uh, shoot, Wesley, uh, Joke, and Lil' Man. He's like my friends. I want to watch him play. Uh, it'd be cool watch somebody win a belt. Uh, we got, who do we got that can win two belts? Um, is it just Kiv? Is he, the, oh, Kiv or, or Ghost? Kiv or Ghost can win their second belt, huh? That's the only people with belts that can win their second. Otherwise, somebody new is going to win a belt. It's pretty cool. Little Man versus Buzz, game one. And another 5 a.m. flight, man. You guys know how it gets down. You guys know the vibes. You guys know how it works. Kevin Ghost, they can win their second belt, man. But I'll be ready. I can't wait to watch. Man, like I said, you guys don't know. You can follow Man League Ops for updates. Follow me for updates. Things like that. Yeah, with group play, it's going to be six games, I guess. How many games are in a group? It would be six, right? Everybody has one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Yeah, I guess six. I don't know. What's my thought on lurk tags? What is lurk tags? I don't know. I don't do it. People got to do what they got to do. You know, who knows? <sighs> yeah, when you talk nonstop, it's hard to breathe. You get, like, tired. EMB Bold Little Man versus Joe Cool Man. Like, and that's, it kind of goes, when we talk about Kib and Wesley, how Wesley will never beat Kib, the same goes for Little Man and Joke. Or Trey and Boogs. Trey will never beat Boogs in a big game ever. Will never happen. Like, when someone, like, really guides you that much in Madden, that you'll never beat them. Seriously. It just, it just won't happen. So, Little Man won't, Little Man won't beat Joke ever. You know? Who else did I think? I, I used to think Ghost would never beat Joke. I, I feel like nobody in NB could beat Joke. That's how I've always felt. But but anyway, man, this was the Needed Podcast, episode 65. We are ready for the Madden Challenge on Thursday, man. I hope you guys watch it. Um, DC was really fun to play, man. It's, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to make for a good tournament. You guys agree, all right? Do you guys agree that um, DC is, is watchable? I feel like everybody has a, a vast scheme. Everybody, every players are pretty even. Uh, I'm saying I feel like every every um like they have all they have a quarterback that won't be a guy with just a running back. You know, there's quarterback, uh, wide receivers. Every team is pretty even. I feel like the drafts are pretty even. I think it's gonna be pretty standard football. People, the best players gonna win, man. I really think it's. I really think it's a good mode, and uh, I think it's gonna work out. Uh, I think it's gonna be fun to watch. Uh, my prediction: I think Bugs. I think Bugs is playing really good. I thought last year that was his tournament to win. He he's been one of the best DC players ever, really. And uh, I think you know this is the time for him to go ahead and get some wins. Hopefully, he starts out playing well. He gets a good book, uh, and it, I think just the way you start playing, the vibes that you have uh, are important, man. So hopefully that first, he plays first. Bugs is up early every day, so playing early is an advantage to him. Hopefully the and B guys are sleeping, and he can just get the momentum and keep playing, man. I mean, definitely room for Clef, Bugs, and my man Taylor gang uh, heavy. So I'll definitely be out there. So if any of you guys, I don't know if they're having a live final. Hopefully they are. You guys can come by and check it out. If anybody's in San Francisco, man, it'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we'll have a lot more stories uh, to talk about. Um, about the, uh, whatchamacallit, about the San Francisco turnup. But we will have that. But this was the Needed Podcast, episode 65. 65, man, we are closing in on 70 episodes. That's insane. 